Good Ta -da! afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the area's only lifestyle birthday program, <laughs> PA Live. I am Chris Bohinski, severely underdressed for Miss Malik's birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Rachel Malik. Thank you for tuning in for my very first TV birthday. I don't think I could feel more special and appreciated and celebrated. I feel on top of the world. This is going to be the best hour of my life. <laughs> a quarter of a century old. Twi Young. Yeah. Young, sorry. Five. Slip of the tongue. Isn't it like I'm, I'm like look a at, grown look lady? At, look at those balloons. Look at that uplifted parties. Made this beautiful display. My parents and my family got for me, including Wilhelmina. She even signed the card, my dog. It has been such a wonderful day, and it's so fun that our birthdays are so close because it's like birthday deja vu. There is nothing like a birthday show. Well, also, today is uh, Taylor Swift's birthday, <sighs> your birthday twin, so she yep. is enjoying a cake like that, but probably not as beautiful. That's from our friend <laughs> Lizzie Bresnay, who you're going to be seeing a little bit later in today's show with a uh, holiday-inclusive Christmas craft. We love it. It's not a true spectacular show if Lizzie Bresnay isn't in the house, so I'm so excited to catch up with her a little bit later, and I was so happy happy to get to catch up with so many of my best friends in the whole wide world this weekend. This past weekend was really a celebratory vibe and so many people came out to have brunch and that was the main <laughs> event. No, again, one of my favorite things. This is my best friend, Allie G. She puts together a birthday celebration like nobody else. So we had a great group together. They got me a delicious cake from my best friend, Christina, who brought it in from Connecticut. And I just felt surrounded by so much love. You know, I went to school in New York, so to be reunited with all my friends in the city at a, such a magical time when everything's decked out in Christmas, it was so nice. These, I say my city sisters, because those are my <laughs> best friends, Sarah and Emma, and my real life blood sisters are Emily and Sarah. <laughs> so it's always so fun that I get to be surrounded by so much love from my M's and my Sarah's. Um, these are my friends, Victor and Kevin, who came out to brunch, me and the boys. Great to see them. Kevin was an RA friend of mine. He wrote me a beautiful, beautiful card. And the RA friends continue because I was reunited with Laurel and Abigail. These are all my friends. Christina on the left is the one who brought me that beautiful cake. It was a strawberry shortcake deliciousness. This is Laurel and Abigail, who came out. I haven't seen either of them in a while, so it was really nice to kind of just catch up. And like I said, enjoy this city because everyone was so alive. You have a lot of Friends. Chilly, but it was nice. I'm telling you, everyone kind of <laughs> came together. It was such a beautiful reunion. Here we are in Washington Square Park. We got that nice photo op. Then the following day, so that was all Saturday. On Sunday, Saturday night, me and Allie watched Serendipity, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies, but also just movies in general. So then Sunday, we said we have to go to Serendipity <laughs> and get a frozen hot chocolate. That was a peanut butter frozen hot chocolate, one of the most delicious things ever. We had a whole smorgasbord of a spread. It was delicious. And then we did all the touristy New York City things. At Christmas time, we saw the tree, which was so nice. It was kind of a drearier day, which meant there was, wasn't that big of a crowd. So we kind of got to experience it and do a little shopping and it wasn't so overwhelming, which was really nice. Then I went back with Allie to her family home on Long Island, which is a beautiful place, and this picture is my birthday present. It's a basket <laughs> of 25 different things for my 25th year, each one with a little sticky note explaining a 1 to 25 of things that I love. She is so thoughtful. Like what was in there? A little bit of everything, like face masks and headbands and cute little things and a bottle of wine. She knows me Only well. Only things we that go Allie. on the face. I don't know. You put me on the spot. It's 25 things. There's a lot. We take the whole yeah. segment. And then this is my favorite birthday tradition, Chris. This is my birthday tree that my parents do every year because my birthday falls so close to Christmas and we have a Christmas tree farm. If you didn't know, Pine Tree Farm. Every year I get a tree decorated for my birthday. And that was a PA Live tree. I don't know if you noticed. Okay. I, I did not know that you, you didn't did know that, that tradition? How would I have known that? I thought for sure I would have said it. It's like what I love to talk about. I can't believe I never brought up a birthday well, tree. Maybe your mom and dad are watching right now. Say so yes, Rachel, you talk about that all the time. <laughs> no, I feel like my, and I didn't bring it up today because I wanted it to be like, ah, oh, because the theme is always like an unveiling, what theme they did the tree, and it was a PA Live theme. There was a the little rail riders in there, a lot of penguins in there, but the topper was PA Live. I, I will have to get them one of the mugs to, maybe that can be another topper. That could be an ornament. Or actually an ornament. See? Wow. We have a beautiful blue spruce from Pine Tree Farm. <laughs> so if, if someone is watching right now and thinking, Rachel, you said it's my first TV birthday. How is that any different from a normal birthday in real life? I mean, <laughs> hello, right? Like, this is just so special, but I think there's something so fun about a birthday show to see everybody kind of coming together, and you're pulling out all the stops already. I'm so excited. Listen, we don't want to start rumors. Oh. 
But there was a young woman who uh, most recently sold out of a multi-dozen city tour mm. in a matter of seconds. Her initials are TS. Mm. Uh, her last name is you. Swift. Out of my peripheral <laughs> vision, <laughs> I see someone who vaguely looks like Taylor Swift. So Stay tuned in, baby, because it's all beginning. The birthday spectacular thing. You think I you're see watching. Lizzie. She's trying to wheel and look behind her. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie, you, it'll come soon enough. You, you will see who we're seeing. So I, but I'm already <laughs> feeling all of the birthday love. This weekend was amazing seeing so many people. And now to be home at my new job with my work, my PA Live family that's making it feel so special. I'm so excited for the show that's in store and the year that's in store. I mean, I'm really... Just excited about the future. I'm 25. A quarter of a century. Can you believe it? Yeah, and I love Nick Toma just saw our, our evening news anchor in the newsroom and he said, Congrat. Oh, he said, Congrats. Congratulations. I'm going to start saying that to people on their birthday. Okay. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> well, congrats to you. Thank you, Chris. Happy 25th birthday. Thank you. Your sister Emily's even here in the wings. She's not going to come on camera, so don't think we're going to pull you on. But She's it's nice to have some the family side. here. <laughs> Absolutely. You all stick around at home because coming up Thanks. next, we have quite possibly the world's most famous penguin. <laughs> here to surprise Rachel. Surprise. <laughs>